Hey guys, this is Nicholas from Mix Eye Magazine here with the maestro Bert McCracken from The Use. Hey Simple man. Simple sojourner, maybe. Simple sojourner? Bivouacker. Bivouacker. Bivouacked. <laughs> Bivouacking. Okay. Or just bivouac. <laughs> what is bivouac? Well, it can mean to create camp, or it's like I'm camping, or walking around a camp, essentially. Sojourner is also very applicable within. Absolutely. Sojourner bivouacker. Sojourner bivouacker. Mm, we're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. How are you? I'm good. Good. I want to talk to you about, in this day and age that we live in, people's attention spans for music are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So Why do you think that is? Uh, people are too fickle um, and they don't work hard enough to find music. People are? I think so. Like innately? I think so. I think. I don't. I think people want a challenge. I think we've been systematically programmed to believe that we're fickle. Okay. But the human in us, right? Mm. Outside of the programmed mind, we are sojourners. We we long for adventure and we quest for knowledge. That's the that's the human. That's the sapien that I believe that, that we've evolved into. Mm. Um, so we're just trying to work back from all of, all of the, the art that I consume and that I love really takes time to consume it. And, um, the attention. Yeah. I don't believe, I believe that people are looking for a challenge. I believe that people, when, when it comes to personal inspiration and moments of art involves healing and digression and introspection and sacrifice and without time and effort we're in a peaceless world okay so with that in mind is that what your approach was going into hey let's do a double record we didn't really have a a goal in mind but we had so much content from the past two years since justin's joined the band it's been this electric invigorating fire yeah very um very in inspiring he's got this passion for life that is it's contagious okay. and um so a lot of uh, four different writing sessions where we piece together maybe you know 10 10 to 15 songs in mm -hmm. in each writing session so by the time we were ready to start pre-production we had 40 to 60 ideas and it just seemed like as we were going through them and the steps that we took to, to in pre-production um, felt like all these pieces were necessary. In the, 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 the record to me is a, is a novel and, and the sequence is very important. And, and for me, it takes me back to my childhood when I listened to records like I believe records were meant to be listened to. Starting Start to from finish. the first track and really living in it. Hmm. with the lyrics in your face and um, a lot of my favorite pieces of art have a have a kind of really specific concentration on annulation okay. and I think great stories are maybe like love and like pain and like life in a big misunderstood ring right and some of my favorite things needed to be on this record because I am everything that I eat and I'm everything that I consume artistically. So I'm just regurgitating what I enjoy. Yeah. And Hamlet has always been so close to my heart. So the beginning of the record, I wanted the record to start with Hamlet's ghost, which is the honest monologue that yeah. the record starts with. And that sets the precedent for the, sets the tone for the rest of the record. It's a very fronting way to open the record as well. Well, it's a shocking and uh, misunderstood moment in Hamlet why mm. the guards see the ghost before the play even starts. And um, some of my other favorite, if anyone out there is familiar with Infinite Jest, um, Howl's episode in the in the college application process is a, is very important to me, and I think that that's also what we were trying to accomplish with the beginning of the record. 
and it and it does tie full circle because the beginning of the record is about what the record is about and then the last song is me maybe following in my friend's footsteps and a, a real heavy lyrical metaphor for suicide or the other side of it the music is powerful art is very powerful and when the when the words combine so kind of cohesively with the language of music which is such an important part Justin Chikoski has brought that to the band he really is a school musician and he understands why it's important to know um, where the dissonance is hmm. cool yeah can't wait for people to hear it so excited thank you for taking the time yeah my awesome. time is your time oh my man